Hi everyone, in this tutorial you're going to learn how to take a motion from iClone and apply it to this Daz character here. Follow this process on all of your Daz characters to take advantage of iClone's powerful motion creation tools and motion library. To do this, you'll first need to take your character into 3D Exchange to run it through the characterization process and make it compatible with iClone motions. The first thing I'm going to do is export my Daz character into FBX format so I can open it up in 3D Exchange. When doing this, I want to make sure that the Merge Clothing into Figure Skeleton option is selected in order to rig the clothing to the bone to move along with the character. If I don't do this, the clothing of the character will separate from the base. After the export is finished, I want to import my character into 3D Exchange. When importing an FBX, you'll get a message notifying you that you can access any embedded textures from the file source path. If your character is relatively high polygon like this one, you'll also get a notification about the suggested polygon count for optimized real-time performance. As you can see, this imported character has no embedded motions. So let's just go directly and convert it into a non-standard character. 3D Exchange has a bone mapping preset for Daz Genesis characters, so the only thing you need to do is simply select the preset template from the drop-down menu. You'll also want to make sure that your character is in the ideal T-pose before you continue. However, 3D Exchange also has a standard T-pose profile for Daz Genesis characters as well. From there, select the active box in order to preview some standard test motions on your character. If you're satisfied with the preview motions, you can just press convert to go to the next step of the characterization process. So what I want to do now is import in some iClone motions and apply them to my character. I'll just select the explore button and find a couple of iClone dance motions that I'd like to use. I can then simply just drag them into my motion library section in 3D Exchange and double click on them to see what they look like when applied to my character. Suddenly my Daz character has some pretty funky moves. I first want to add them to the perform menu and then what I'll do is just export those motions as BVH files so they can be applied to my character in Daz. To do that, I can export from the file menu or just use the shortcut on the top of my window here. Now in order for the motion to apply correctly to the character in Daz, I need to make sure that it's aligned to the hip of my character's bone hierarchy. To do this, I'll just select the hip bone as the root of the motion and select OK to finish the export. So now we're back in the Pose and Animate tab of Daz with the original character and you can see the character hierarchy on the right. Before I apply the motion, however, I want to make sure that the rotation limits for my character's bone hierarchy are set to off. Daz has the rotation limit in place to prevent situations like excessive twisting of limbs during animation. However, this can sometimes conflict with imported motions such as this one. If you experience an abnormal motion issue, try turning off this feature. Finally, it's time to import in my motion. I'll just go over to the import menu and then you'll be able to see the two files that I exported from 3D Exchange. Let's check out the Thriller Dance on my character here. In the import settings you'll want to make sure that you select the adjust scene to match the file option and select accept. Once you do, you'll see the motion begin to load. After it does, I'll press the play button and sit back to admire my character's fancy moves. As you can see, it's super easy to take any motion you want from iClone and apply it to your Daz Genesis character within Daz. iClone's huge motion library and motion tools provide you with more options for animating your Daz characters.